Hi, my name is Anj. I'm Michael. I'm Amal. And this is NUTV. Today we'll be talking about soccer. So almost every country in the world has their own soccer league, but today we'll talk about the most popular ones, which are the five ones in Europe. You have the Premier League in England, you have La Liga in Spain, you have Ligue 1 in France, Serie A in Italy, and Bundesliga in Germany. Now, all of these leagues play about uh, 38 games a season, and they have 20 teams a league. Bundesliga is the only exception when they have 18 teams in their league, and they only play 34 games. These teams play once or twice a week for about eight months, and there's a promotion and relegation system unlike the sports in the U.S. The top four teams in every league get to move on to the Champions League, which is the highest level of competition for domestic teams in Europe. So the Champions League is the most coveted uh, league all, all over Europe. To qualify for the Champions League, you have to make it the top four of your league. The Champions League comprises of 32 teams from all over Europe. Um, there are uh, eight groups of four, and the top two of each group qualifies to the knockout stages. The knockout stages go on to the final. The, each knockout stage has two legs, a home and away game for each team. And uh, the winner of the Champions League is the best team of, in Europe. Cristiano Ronaldo is the leading goal scorer in the history of the competition. Yeah, he is not a fan. But uh, Messi is number two with 103 goals. Less apps though, so like he's played less, uh, less games than Ronaldo. So we'll see. Doesn't make it better. <laughs> While the best players in the world are competing for their club teams in the domestic competitions, they're also going to be playing in the European competitions to win the Champions League, which is essentially the Super Bowl of soccer. Additionally, while they are playing for their club teams, they have duties for their international teams. So the best players will compete for their country at international breaks, which is going to be every two months throughout the season. Continental competitions, such as the African Cup of Nations, are what players are going to be competing for their country for to, over the course of the season. This all culminates in the World Cup every four years, which is the ultimate accomplishment for a country to achieve. Thanks for watching. And that's a goal.